What up doc? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a before and after for your Instagram account. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. This channel is all about the how-tos of dental marketing. And if you're interested in some free tools that you can use on your personal account, check the link in the description box below. So let's get started. All right, so here we are inside of Apple's program called Photos. Now this is a free program that you can get with any kind of Macintosh computer that you get or iPad, iPhone, whatever. We store our photos on the server and not into EagleSoft because we were told by EagleSoft and our IT company that it is better to keep them on the server because it doesn't bog EagleSoft down. So that's what we did. I, I did a video a while back on how to import into EagleSoft. You can still do it, but like I said, it's easier to just view the photos directly from the server and there's no bogging down, it's, it doesn't, it's not slow, and it's very easy to use. So here we are inside of iPhotos and it's very intuitive and the first thing you want to do when you get to here is basically double click on it and you want to go to the edit button up here and what we want to do is basically get this half of a square and how we're going to do that is by changing go to the uh, the aspect ratio so you want to go up to here and to crop and then you want to go down here to custom and you're going to change this number to two to one ratio and you can see everything got cropped and once you get to that point you can hit done you can do some other things with color like if you have two different color tones you can mess with the colors a little bit I'm not gonna get into that I just want to show you the gist of this thing so what we're gonna do is just hit done and then we're gonna go back to the original photos and we're gonna go to this next one we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna change the aspect ratio you go to crop go to custom you have to hit it again so it goes back into it all right and I probably want to bring this in just a little bit so it's uh, like the other one. All right, let's see if that's about the same size. Nope, we want to go back, to, we want to zoom in just a little bit more. So what we're going to do is go back to edit, go back to crop, and then, um, hold on a second, there we go. And then we want to crop it in just a little bit more like that. All right, and you got these little quadrants here that you can use for measurement too, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see if that's about right. Yeah, it's about right. D uh, don't worry about getting exactly the same proportions because we can change that a little bit if we need to in the next program. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna import these into Canva, okay? Here's Canva. If you haven't subscribed to Canva, I strongly recommend that you do. Every social media management company uses this, this program. Um, it's like 12 bucks a month, highly recommended. No, they are not paying me to advertise their products. I just use it because it's a great tool. Uh, it's very easy to use. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to device, okay? And you can notice these are this is like a little menu bar here on the left hand side. Go to make sure that you go to upload and you wanna hit device. Oh wait, before I get into that, I wanna show you that to create a, a new design, you wanna go back to home. And what you wanna do is go back to uh, create a design, which is a custom size. And you wanna, here are the recent ones that I use. But in case you want to start fresh, you just want to make sure that it's 1080 by 1080 because that's the largest aspect ratio that you can use on Instagram. Go ahead and create that. And here we are back to the same spot. We want to click on this uploads button so we can upload our photos and you want to click upload media. You want to click on devices because that's your device and you want to find the photos. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing that you have to do before you upload into Canva is you have to drag and drop these onto your desktop. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna minimize this, and I'm gonna grab both of these, hold the shift button down, and just drag them onto the desktop, just like that. All right, let me get these out of the way. So these other, the original pictures, and I wanna throw these in the trash because I don't wanna get confused when I go to upload them into uh, Canva. All right, so we go back to device. All right, and we wanna pick the two, Looks like these are it right here. I want to hold the shift down button or hold the shift button down and I'm going to hit open. And what that's going to do is just upload it into our, our uh, uploads library. Now from here, it's pretty, pretty easy. Okay, all you have to do is just double click. There's the before and here's the after, okay? Now the proportions are, are already perfect for this box. So if I bring it all the way out, it's gonna bring it in exactly to where the measurement needs to go, okay? And you can see just like that, that's where it, that's perfect. 
Uh, you may notice that you don't want this blue here, so what you can do is basically just click on the box and see this little ball here? You just drag it and it opens it up and it, you can make it proportional to the other one. And if you want to do the other one, the same thing with the other one, do the same thing like that. And you can just kind of play around with it. And that looks like a perfect proportion. Uh, let me maybe just make this a little bit bigger. I think maybe I took this photo uh, with that bib on, maybe, I don't know. And that's it. If you want to add a, um, a signature, I don't want to do that one. Let's do a signature down here. All right, just like that. And you can minimize this signature like that. You can make it bigger, smaller. This is Dr. Troy Pierce. If you want to check him out on Instagram and check out the photos that I've done. If you want a signature logo, uh, just contact me and I can make you one. All right, so we go here and just kind of make it look pretty. If you want to put your logo, your uh, dental practice name, you don't want to do the, the, uh, the signature logo, you can put your logo down here in the corner. You don't want to make it too big because you don't want to make it obnoxious. So that's basically it. That's how you do it. It's perfect proportions. So what I want to do is download it. And what you're going to do is make sure that it's a PNG because PNG looks better on Instagram. It doesn't compress it as much. So you want to just do download. Now, if you want to get it to your phone and you have an iPhone, I don't know how to do it on an Android, but on an iPhone, all you got to do is airdrop it onto your phone and then upload it to Instagram that way. So if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.